Antonio Brown wants his helmet, and he wants the helmet that he wants, and he doesn't care if it's going to, you know, make it, I guess, more easy for his eggs to be scrambled. But like I said yesterday, Vontae's perfect as his teammate, so maybe he thinks he's safer. <laughs> so, look, <laughs> I- I'll try my best to explain it here. It's not funny. <laughs> well, I mean. It is funny, but it's not funny. The guy wants his helmet, and he feels like it's – I don't get it. it. Either he feels like it's his security bl- blanket, or as I described yesterday, my my right. sweet soon-to-be six-year-old baby girl, uh, uh, Taylor, has this stuffed animal called Baby Lamb. She's named it Baby Lammy. We – you know, we we think she we think it it might be some form of a, a bunny or a a, 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 a mouse. Did or she hide it last night? No, it she had it on the So if Baby Lammy, if 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 we don't know the exact, we like Susie and I almost put a GPS device <laughs> on the Baby Lammy. You can get so one of those little those. squares. Yeah, squares. Uh, we yeah. might have to do it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, we might have to do it. We might have to chip Baby Lammy because if <laughs> Baby Lammy, if, Jack Baby if, Lammy? if, if <laughs> we don't know where Baby Lammy is. Is by bedtime, it's uh, it's on, it's uh, it's on and cracking, as we might say. <laughs> and clearly, either either Brown's helmet is his personal baby Lammy, or he's one of those guys who's just like, I've get my way. That's it. I get my way, and my way is this way, and I'm not going to give up every last way. And he's surrounded by people who who are trying to make him happy. And it's easier to make him happy, and he's better when he's happy. And then, you know, he wants his helmet. And the issue is is that the helmet that he wore is now over 10 years old. And and you're not allowed to wear a helmet older than that in the NFL anymore. Because the NFL is trying to get something uniform for all these players that is as safe as possible. And the Players Association is on board. They're on board. They're together in this. Four years ago, they tested the helmets, and the helmets that they all tested that were being worn by the NFL players started coming up. They started color coding it: green, and red, and yellow. You could understand green is wear it; yellow, be careful. Red, you shouldn't be shouldn't be wearing it. Last year, the league and the players' association agreed: any red helmets, any helmets being tested that are red, everybody has a grace period one year. And you're out of it. Okay? So you're out of these helmets. And everybody had a year grace period for that. This is, that has nothing to do with Antonio Brown's old helmet. He was told last year, it's turning, your helmet's turning 10. It's, it's out. And he had a a year to figure it out. Yeah, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, all these guys use that old helmet. But that's, but that's not a 10-year helmet. That's a helmet that they they knew it was red last year. They had one year to get right. out of it. So these are two different situations here. And it's important because he's filed a grievance. So now when he shows up with his old helmet from Pittsburgh and they're telling him, you can't wear it, now they're scrambling to find a helmet that's been made by this same helmet maker, same style of helmet that was discontinued in 2011. Because the helmet maker is the one that said the technology that they're making it, that you're using now, is safer than the 2011. We're discontinuing this style. It's over. It's not that they went out of business. So apparently, Antonio Brown or whomever on his team found a helmet from 2011 by this. Same style and maker. The, one of the last ones, maybe it's the last one that was off of the shut factory conveyor belt. And they tested it and it popped red. And he's now saying, well, I should get the one year grace period for popping a helmet red that everybody got last year. And to me, I'm thinking that's a losing argument because it's not a rolling one year right. grace period. They gave it, they made it announced last year because they want everybody in a green helmet. They want everyone out of red helmets in the NFL. It's not a rolling situation. But he's saying, I should get the same one year grace period because I've now tested this helmet. And the reason why they didn't test the 2011 helmet last year, it was discontinued. It's the same thing as 
testing a leather helmet. What's the point of testing discontinued helmets? Because the technology is now better. Test helmets that are being made. That's Antonio Brown's argument. Good luck with that. And we'll see what shows up on Hard Knocks tonight. Again, Gruden is the goalie. Just remember, remember this. Everything you see on the screen is a biscuit that Gruden allowed in the basket. And Gruden doesn't have a five hole when it comes to this information. This is the goalie. Gruden or his, some member of his staff, I don't know if Mayock's sitting there watching the dailies. I doubt it. <laughs> but, but just know what shows up tonight got the check mark. Right. Keep that in mind when you see hard knocks tonight. Because in the all-in, all-out situation that Mayock said, he's still trying to play this in between. Antonio Brown has shown up because he can't have it used against him if the Raiders just finally throw their hands up and say, look, uh, you didn't practice when uh, we told you to, and you weren't here when we when we told you to. So it's a called failure to practice. You're, you're out, and we're not paying you your guarantees. So he's kind of still playing it by half by trying to – Thread some needle that nobody saw coming. Not the NFL, not the NFLPA. In this grievance that he's filed. We'll see what shows up on Hard Knocks tonight. I'll be tuned. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.